Today, Telefox will be teaching you how to configure a network router. And this router will allow you to connect to the Wi-Fi. And this will be connected to our main TP-Link router. This will be the Nighthawk Wi-Fi router from Netgear. And the model is pictured here. So we got the 4Stream AX1800 Wi-Fi 6 router. Has three different radio consoles. So we will configure that today. Okay, so as you can see, we pull up the control panel to view the network adapter. So to do that, you just open control panel, click on view small icons, click on network sharing and center. And the adapter 77 is the Wi-Fi router. So as you can see, it has no internet access and it has a specific IP address and specific so we can access the router by using the IP address of 1.2.168.1.1. Let's see if that's correct. Let's go over here. So it's bringing us to the Nighthawk app. Um, we want to click on continue if we don't have the smart app. It's going to give us a terms and conditions we go ahead and scroll all the way down and accept and let's go ahead and click on next so now it's checking for an internet connection and this will take a couple minutes and here you go so configure your internet settings you are not yet connected to the internet do you want netgear to assist with installation to determine the appropriate settings or do you want to do it manually? So for this case scenario, let's configure it manually um, just to see what settings we have. Okay, so we want to give it a new username and password, so I will do that now. So I will be back in just a moment. Okay, so we created the new password for the administrator to log on to. Now it's asking us if we want to configure the Netgear Wi-Fi connection. So we do that now. So what I want to do is do Telefox IT and put 2.4 and Telefox 5. Okay, and then from here we assign a strong password. So I will be right back and and we will go ahead and continue with a new password. Okay, so I created a strong password for both of the SSID. So we click on next. Uh, we go ahead and click on save. Sure, why not? So here you personalize your router. Here's your new Wi-Fi router credentials. Um, so now it's getting everything ready. Uh, we will come back to the router in just a moment and then we will configure a few other settings. Once the Wi-Fi is configured, it will check for updates for the AX1800 Wi-Fi router. So let's just give it time and then afterwards, if it found an update, it will update. If it didn't find an update, it should proceed to the next screen. Okay, so new Firmware is not available, so we click on OK. And we go to the next screen. So from here, it's asking us the administrator name and password. So we enter in that and then log in for the first time. OK, so we're logged in for the first time. It's telling us that we have armor security on your router, provides advanced cyber threat protection to safeguard your network and your connected devices. You could activate a free trial, which we will not do. So we click on exit from there and then from here we could start configuring our specific policies for this device okay so let's configure the internet for the first time ipv6 should be disabled which it is we go to ipv4 and we enter in the following information so let's see 
Okay, so as you can see, it's already picking up a specific IP address, so that's good. And we don't actually have to... We don't actually have to change anything. We have the appropriate IP address set. So hypothetically, we can access the router with this IP address, or the login, which is this right here, the routerlogin.net. And so that's good. The internet is working for this device. What we want to do now is go to wireless. Wireless, we want to enable this OFDMA and auto channel mode auto. We want to make sure security option is WPA2 personal AES and Let's see, default settings for the 5 gigahertz frequency band, and we do want to still set WPA2 personal as the type of encryption, so that's good. Attached devices, it should only show one device, which is me, as you can see. And we go to enable quality of service. And um, actually, let's go over here, enable quality service and click on test speed. So we click on that, click on apply to apply the quality of service. Okay, so we're applying those settings for quality of service. From here, we could enable the guest to allow them to access the network. So what we will do is we will do enable guest and allow guests to see each other and access my local network. We will not allow. And so we do telefox guest. This should be for 2.4. Security, we want a security password. And this is the key that we want to use. So we'd go ahead and enter in a new key. So we enter in a new key. There we go. And enable for the guest 5 and security options WPA2 personal. And we want to select a new password phrase, click on apply. Next, we could create a VPN connection. We don't need to create a VPN connection for this device, so we just leave blank. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so next we want to enter in the advanced. So inside of advanced, it will show the specifications of the network. And let's see. We can specify some other settings so setup wizard this is if you want to set up the wizard for the first time again um, this is add a wps client that's if you want to add a functional easy wi-fi client with a push of a button or pin we won't do that so internet settings um, we don't need to change this at all we already have the appropriate settings that we need wireless settings let's go ahead and apply this so yeah the wireless settings we want to apply and we will let it do its thing just uh we have to wait for a moment and it will reload the profile okay so inside of wan protection we could assign a specific default dmz server we could respond to pings on the internet port we can disable IgM proxy and NAT filtering we have as secure, but we can disable that. We want to leave this as default. Next, we're here at the LAN. This is the portion where we want to create a, a new type of LAN service. So from here, we will leave default. This is the land that we want. Um, this is perfectly fine. 
string and then for this we have a default DHCP server from here we could do local management so allow always allow HTTPS to access the router so click on apply this ensures that you're logging in with a secure HTTP protocol instead of a plain text HTTP protocol okay so if we go into quality of service one more time we want to enter in the WMM category and inside of here you could enable your Wi-Fi multimedia which enhances the quality of service then we want to go to device name we could change the device name for this device we will leave default next we could go to access control and this should allow us to block sites services things of that nature so if we turn on it allows us to block computers and electronic devices from accessing the network all right so turn on and apply And as you can see, it applied the new settings and we have the IP address. We still have the internet, so we go to block sites. So we could block keywords or we could block sites containing keywords or domain names. So as you can see, we could block like uh, Facebook, we could block YouTube if we want, we could block other services that we don't want on the network from here we could also block services so let's see yeah we could block a bunch of different services so let's block telnet and protocol we don't have to change and for all ip addresses now telnet will not be usable so i would definitely go into here and look at all the services to make sure that you're allowing certain services that are available on your Wi-Fi network. So just take note of that. You could block or define and allow services. From here, you could have a schedule. Um, we don't want to mess with that. Then you could add your email notification. So if a certain thing went wrong, you could check your email just to make sure that everything is working properly next we go into administration we could see our status the Wi-Fi settings along with everything else then from here we could send logs so let's see yeah you could send logs um, this will give us all the information about the different devices connected then we could see the attached devices we could back up our settings we could specify our ntp server so if we have a specified ntp server we could add it there and then there's a bunch of other settings at advanced this allows you to create a specific kind of environment so after we got through all those settings, what I want to do is change this so that way it's AP setting. So this will be a AP mode and I do want to get an existing uh, IP address from the router. And we will keep everything default. So let's go ahead and click on apply. Click on apply. And the reason why I'm putting this router into AP mode is because I already have a main router that it's connected to that's using all the delegation and proper routering services. So there's no reason to have a router connected to another router. So rather I want it to become an access point so that way people who sign on to the network will get an actual IP address that is associated with the appropriate network. So let it restart and then we will come back to it okay so for this device we want to obtain an IP address automatically so let's go ahead and enter in a new IP address 
and then hypothetically from there it should obtain a IP address automatically so just give me one moment here all right that's good and let's just do 8.8.8 .8 click OK and let's go back into the settings and change it to DHCP and it should pick up an address property okay so we go back over here we obtain automatically obtain automatically click OK click OK and let's see what it pulls up here Okay, so we pulled up the IP address automatically. So then from here, hypothetically, we should be able to log in. So let's try that one more time. If that doesn't work, what we need to do is find the IP address of this device. So we go back over here, we can go to system log. And we could try an IP address of 10.0.0.254. Let's see. It was 252. Okay, so the router IP address, as you can see, is at 10.0.0.252. So I do want to make note of that here. Okay, we go to advanced and enter in the login information. Okay, so things will be a little bit different and then from here you should be able to access the internet. So let's go back over to this device. Uh, and uh, it should be getting the wireless network so to test this out what you would do is go to one of your wi-fi devices and log in so i will test that in just a moment okay so i was able to check on a device access the network with a wi-fi device what we want to do is because it's in a access mode we can't actually disallow guests to see our local network resources so we just disable that because we do already have a wi-fi guest for a separate network that is vlan on a different router so we just disable that and disable that and click on apply and then now your network should be up and running your devices when they connect to the network from this router or Wi-Fi they will have to go through the administrative portal the captive portal that was shown in the previous video featured in the TP-Link router VPN video so just take note of that um, now that everything is set up you don't really have to do anything other than make sure that you're managing your system logs and keeping track of who logs on to your network if you enjoyed this video please like and don't hesitate to contact telefox for all your consulting needs you have a good afternoon